Okay, I think we're good. Thalnekamara! My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist immature, and my apologies for the slightly late start. Not my intention, but dang, that's also not my intention. <laughs> okay, so I was going to start this up immediately, but ended up lagging behind by a couple minutes. The reason being, my antivirus, for whatever reason, was glitching, so I need to figure that out quick. On the bright side, apparently it's a relatively uncommon issue when it happens, but very rarely when you start up the computer, it just decides, hey, instead of updating, we're going to crash and not load period. Bright side, got that fixed. Of course, protesters should speak their minds. We want a war for that privilege. But 31PD will not tolerate violent protests. Artisan Glorva of the Ship Workers League issued a statement. We follow your rules, and yet only mutons were injured today. If 31PD can or will not protect us, we will protect ourselves. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. And right off the bat, we're already hitting topics that are really common events. Hmm. I wonder what that could be referring to. Anyways, last time we finished up Act 1, currently in Act 2, and I want to say I have everything squared away for now. Yep, I've got Torque going through some training. Meanwhile, for Spec Op, that should be finishing up tomorrow. And this is going to take a couple days. And eh, not exactly the best thing in mind, but eh, gotta make do. At that, hmm. No, let's just save. Let's save. Let's save my resources just in case. Faction target will reveal in two days, and we've got two events. Finders keepers. Very difficult mission. Reduces unrest in this district back to minimum, and we get an epic pistol. Alternatively, power grab. Gets you an epic sub mock and minimizes the risk here. So in that case, the big question is, do I want an awesome submachine gun? Or do I want an awesome pisser? And considering how often I end up using uh, blue blood, I think I want that pisser. While I'm at it, let's see, what have we got? Big patch, Nenomed. Yeah, you you need to keep that just in case. Zephyr's got Nenomed. Blue Blood. AP rounds. Actually, I don't think I even have anything for uh, you to hold on to, do I? No, I do not. I wish I did. And thinking about it. Actually, what are your stats? Answer 74 aim. Okay, um, I'm kind of tempted to get you something to throw. Like, maybe flashbang? But the same right, maybe a ceasefire grenade would be a better idea. Ceasefire grenades can be fairly useful, especially in the uh, later parts of the game, when you have to deal with a whole bunch of enemies with guns. Because what they do is they completely disable the weapons of anyone in there, which essentially minimizes their ammo. A very useful tool to have, just across the board. The only thing is, finding a good excuse to use it, because... Uh, <laughs> If you're careful, you could probably take down enemies quickly, or at that, in some cases, Special enemies don't location. gun. Hostiles unaware of our approach. Well, I'd hope so, but considering the uh, driving ability of the person on the wheel of this van, I doubt that. Enemies are harder to... Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, game. It's been two weeks since I've lifted this game, and you're already trying to shout. Thank you. Uh, so, enemies are harder to hit, 
but any enemy we do hit is stunned. Lovely. To start with, who can I cap? At that... Shit, I wasn't paying attention to whether this was, whether this was like a one-wave encounter or not. Oops! Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Cap her. That was... stuttery. And it failed. Maybe I should just start firing at uh, other targets. Why is this getting stuttery? Feels fancy on you. And lastly. He was stunned. Maybe I want to take. Maybe I want to hit the adder, but honestly, the pipe on is bigger issue. That's Gray's game, thank you. This began stuttery for really weird reasons, but maybe it's a warm-up. Okay, so first turn in two weeks, and what are we looking at? Okay, one of two, so it's probably a good thing that I didn't decide to use my breach actions. I can get a free dead eye. Who should I cap? Answer, probably the bruiser. I don't like your look. You're killing me here. Like you're actually killing me here. Blue blood. Really now. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Got him. Better. Ugh. That hit. Still mobile. I hate everything. Another scar for my collection. I hate everything. Okay. Fine then. So, let's see here. I think. I can shrap and kill two targets with one bomb. I'm fine with that, because she's going to be moving next turn. So that means I have nothing to worry about. The next target will be the python. Block him. Not connect. I need to run. And next... Yeah, I think you should probably go up to that Legionnaire. Actually, either the Legionnaire or the Python. And honestly, Python's a bigger concern. Because, if I remember correctly, Python can rip a unit and stop. find them in place, and that's very annoying. And this is something that I'm going to need. Yoink. Better still. Ground. I get a defensive action. Demolition only affects cover, if I remember correctly. It's something specifically that we can do, meaning they can be kind of annoying whenever they do that, but honestly, losing cover isn't too much of an issue. Having a wounded party member, on the other hand, is a much better issue. Yes, she does. As long as it can keep up. And let's see, terminal's in a safe position. So honestly, maybe I should just pass a turn to uh <laughs> Actually, this is a really bad Go. idea. Go now. Let's pass a turn to Blue Blood and watch. That's Claymore. I'm an idiot! That's 34. So, you know what? Throw a shrap. Explosive out!
Then blue blood can take a half cover right Stepping here. Out. Go, go, go. And let's take a dead eye for health. Nice. Right. Maybe nice. I should have left the kill for uh, Claymore, considering he needs the XP since he's a new unit. But oh well, I'll make two. Quick scan. First unit in is marked. Oh, lovely. Honestly, out of all the units that could be marked, I should probably have it be Terminal, since she can take a hit. Follow it up with... Zephyr. And let's put Blue Blood and Claymore in the lag. Open sesame. This is the second, so Medipatch. Heal everyone up. Or one unit at least, but regardless. Oh, hey! So you're manning the cash register here. Yeah, could I, uh. Hmm. Can I get a packet of Marlboros and a serving of bullets? Oh, you're out of bullets? Oh, so sorry. Let me provide some for you. Courtesy of. Pain. And meanwhile. From you, I think I want... We've got a lot of good choices here. Hmm. Tell you what. I'm in the mood for some fresh fruit. Maybe, uh... Pain apple! And while we're at it, could I also get a round of salt? Excellent! Although the salt does taste a little like, uh, I don't know, middle? Eh, I can make do. It's so red. Maybe you should be a little more concerned about that. Well, anyway. Terminal. What can you do? Answer. There are no immediate actions that I can make to kill a unit. I could, however, top off Zephyr. It's only 2 HP. Alternatively, I have a ceasefire grenade, and these aren't consumable. So what I can do... is... ceasefire! Oh. Really? Because the civvy's there? Fine. Where are enemies located? Answer. Okay, that's a decent spread. Yeah, let's cease fire. You. Three. What? Oh, there's a Viper Buddy right there. Eh, it won't really affect the Viper Buddy because civilians don't have guns. Four weapons disabled. And since you guys have your weapons disabled, you're almost sitting with us. Let's peg the bruiser. Let's go. It's a low accuracy shot. Freaking hell. Probably a bad decision. Is this amateur hour? Yes it is, and uh, you're talking to the biggest knee to the table here. Enough of that, jackass. Target spotted. Oh. That hurts. Ow. My nuts. Okay, fine. Fine. Actually, yeah, he's disabled, but even then, you could just move up and punch him. So, maybe the better action here is to. Eliminate this trooper. Splintering. Okay, that's not an elimination, but it works. Perry. She's in an obvious location. Maybe the trooper will attack her. Or reload. Let's see. Blue blood. You. Can dead eye. And honestly, I don't like the cut of your 
Think fast. Good. Then next, I'm gonna phase lancer do. Judging by the vectors here, not really all that much. Yeah, I can't. It definitely can't. Oh no, wait! It can hit the both of them. So Light sure, ruin their day. That Protoss ain't vegan. Providing cover. Then next. And I almost want to shrap these two fools. But that's going to affect the civilians, so maybe. Absolutely no way. This Drawing angle shrapnel. will work. Position noted. Then from there. Will this crit? Probably not. Alternatively, this may kill. Duck. <laughs> uh, it's not a miss if you graze. Well, not in my eyes, at least. This can be bad, though. Because cobras specialize in poison. And that's a lot of poison. That's a lot of poison. Safeguard yourself, I'd say. Then probably pass an action to Blue Blood so you can get into better cover. And this also gets him an Overwatch phase. Oh, what? It should have affected them. Bullshit. That's the gun. I need that. Oh, I'm at it. Maybe I should, like, uh, move the city out of the way. Just in case. Artful Fathom. And the best part about all this is... Still get a parry. Yeah. Ripped right through me. You can manage. Did I? Good. And let's see if you can't hit one. Perfect. Excellent. So next. Dealing with this trooper here. Fortunately, since Claymore's got a med kit, he's immune to poison. That's 70. I think it's just because this guy's in cover. Right side, I think I can get into a position where this cover is null. Right here. That's perfect accuracy close to. Target hit. Deflected off the armor. And you know what? Because I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Stay down. Bop him in the head. Wait, a civilian died? Oh, great. I didn't realize that. That's bad. So, 20% chance that unrest will raise by one. Cross fingers! Okay, I think nothing happened. Good. Tensions at the starport increased today as Muton protesters arrived with what appeared to be clubs. Artisan Glorva of the Shipworkers League bristled at the suggestion. 
These are tools for fixing starships. They're spiritual implements, not weapons. A leaked video from Earth Above All seemed to urge escalation. If they swing at you, it's their ticket back to prison. Wear thick padding, provoke verbally, and make sure it's on camera. More on this story as it develops. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. Wow, dick. Really? Hmm, I could say some police officers could learn a lesson on this one. But anyway, more importantly, Claymore has the ability to upgrade to field agent now. So, for his upgrade choices, we get Fortitude. Claymore is immune to all explosives. Alternatively, improvised explosives. Claymore regenerates a charge for carried grenades at the end of each encounter. So, the question is for Claymore, do you want him to be your dedicated bomb specialist? Or do you want him to be your dedicated nuker? Because the left option essentially makes him an action bomb. Though... Hmm. Considering one of the upgrades that he gets, I believe it's Special Agent. What I'm expecting at some point is... The ability to have the shrapnel bomb we can throw out rupture arm. That's an upgrade that you can get. I don't remember if it's special agent or an option for senior. Hmm. Although, having someone that's immune to anything is usually more useful. We'll see whether that's a bad decision. In the meantime, we've got our Illyrium. And Angler's Point and this area are getting too high. And unfortunately, after today, they're going to peak. And there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, like... Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that, because Vigilance doesn't come back until next day. <sighs> That's frustrating. But on the bright side, we did get a new pistol. And I'm gonna throw that onto uh, Blue Blood first chance I get. There he is. Artful Fathom. Grants Lightning Hands, and Lightning Hands is a disgusting ability, because what it does, if I remember correctly, is give you a free shot at lessened accuracy. Period. So, on top of Blue Blood's ability to Deadeye at the start of a turn, he can now throw out a Lightning Hands... fire a second time, and still be able to fire a third shot on top of that. Disgusting. But more importantly, we need to set another mission to do. And... Honestly, I'm thinking about some humanitarian aid. Problem is, it's gonna cost five days, and I need to bump out one of my favorite units. If anything, probably Zephyr. I love Zephyr, don't get me wrong, but looking at all the tension around, we have five districts, six districts higher than yellow, and going to be seven if I don't take this one. We need to uh, bump down unrest before it gets to be too bad. And in terms of what we got here, free 65 intel or a whole bunch of cash. 
Wow, that's not appealing. <laughs> I mean, the intel, maybe. Although... We are getting enhanced shotguns soon, and I'm gonna need cash for that. Fine. Locate the missing informant. Yep, Anarchy's risen by one. Gray Phoenix is abducting aliens with highly technical skills. Engineers, scientists, and technicians. Put an end to the abduction so these people can return to their families. Um, compared to XCOM 2, how do I put this? Think of this like... Hmm. Okay, so on the one hand, XCOM 2 doesn't have, uh... Or sorry, yeah, wow, I'm getting scrapped. Camera Squad uses fixed characters, so if you really like the unit creator or anything like that in XCOM 2... I'm sorry to say it's not going to be here, but if anything, I'd like to think that the encounters here are a bit more engaging, considering they're wave-based as opposed to just one giant sprawling map. It's still, for the most part, a good chunk of the same core dynamics. You have a designated quote-unquote world that you need to manage. You have a bunch of units you need to grow in order to effectively take down threats. And, again, the big thing about this that I need, is about this particular game that I need to say is, if you go in with the mentality expecting more of XCOM 2 and only XCOM 2, you're going to be disappointed. Because, well, this game's a side story. It's a spin-off. It's meant to be different. And I'd say it does its job well at being, dif is at being different and distinguishable and Fun. Although there is, although uh, again another thing that you could dock, modding. XCOM 2 is by and large the bigger modding scene and better modding scene. Honestly, I'd say if you want to play this game, wait for a sale. Cause. If I remember correctly, it's like 20 bucks, and if you're careful, you can maybe find it for 15 or 12 later down the line. Alright, so... Oh wow, you're still going on that, so in that case, I'm gonna need to set something else to do here. I do need expert field teams. Or at least for long term. But at the same rate, getting better accuracy on weapons might be good too. Especially since SOMEONE has been having a bit of a mischance! Oh wow, 50% right now? Holy shite! I didn't realize that. Nice. Uh, let's see here. I think... Yeah, weapon optics. Screw it. And what do we got with the scavengers? That's scope. Nice, but honestly, I'm better off saving my intel. Okay, so that's going to raise up to five. And... Since I'm probably just gonna rush story at this rate. Because the intel is useful, but at the same rate, the sooner I bump this down from 5, the better. 
And at that... I don't like the way that's looking. Let's see here, field teams. That's gonna require... So I have enough intel for that. I might want to consider... It requires a field team in every district. What districts are empty? You. So, might as well get a field team here. I will need Illyrium going down the line, so maybe just do that. Alright! With a field team at every district, we have access to a Major Crimes Task Force. Reduces City Anarchy. And specifically, it reduces anarchy based off of the total amount of... Uh, no, is it based off of the uh, field teams that you have active? If all of your field teams are at least level 1, you bump down 1 anarchy. If they're all level 2 or greater, bump down 2 anarchy. Level 3 or greater, bump down 3. I have a tier 1 across the board everywhere. Anarchy is gone. Though I really would like having a dragnet. That's gonna have to take some time, though. Raid trafficking me. Oh, wait. Shit. Oh, man. I just realized I sent off... I sent off Zephyr, and I... I haven't exactly been using shelter all that much. This could suck. While I'm at it, I need to take off your equipment. Bump it to other units. Specifically, since I'm taking shelter along, he needs to carry some of this. So, take your extra padding. Take your nanomed. Take your banger. Okay. Let's do this. I'm not liking the look of this. Nothing against Shelter, just... I'm not good at using him. From the few times that I have used him. And apparently my sister's D&D uh, &D campaign is going really badly. Slash really obscenely. Quote, all her luck is going into Muramasa. This chemical plant sells So in other words, everything is Phoenix. dying. Lucky for us, our mystery VIP set up a meet. Get inside and shut it down. They don't know we come for them. Not yet. Alright, time to breach. Enemies deal one less damage during the breach. Useful. And I think. Yeah, let's start with blue blood. Plug. Maybe shelter second, terminal third of Claymore at the rear. Breach! Breach! Don't necessarily like ordering it like this, but I'll make do. There's only one aggressive enemy. Take it out. Then next up. Shot on the Legionnaire could kill. Doesn't mean that it will. Well, the Adder over here is a better shot at 89 accuracy. Not bad. Not fatal, but it's good enough. Then next up... 83 accuracy. Not bad. Not great either but it's workable. 
Especially since I can get Claymore a kill and some XP. Perfect. Oh, Terminal Honey, why? <laughs> <laughs> this is like the perfect vector for a phase lance, and you had to pick there of all places to camp your ass? <sighs> this game, doo doo. Right side. Let's show obscenity. So, Deadeye. Still got it. Followed by lightning hands. Really? Screw it. Followed by dead eye. You have no cover. You are dead. That's a relief. All right, shelter. I almost want to have you just run up and dig the guy. I know what you can't. Hmm. So in that case, since there's no enemies over this way, I need you. Oh, definitely not. Don't go there. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Camp them right next to the explodey barrels right here. That sounds like a brilliant idea. No, shelter, go there. And... It's not gonna harm a city, will it? Okay, no, I don't think it will harm a city. Yep, it's barely gonna miss. I think that explosion will deal three damage. Ah, just one, actually. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the best decision. Oh. Fear not. I am still up. Good. Still worried for your health. Let's so, take a drone. That works. And follow up. Punch his lights now. Always satisfying. Leave. Hostile missed me. <gasps> okay, I was starting to get a little panicked from that. I thought he was going to get hit again. Good. And actually, come to think of it, I think I can get a proper vector. That will not involve cover. By positioning him here. And boop. Thank you, Claymore. You are always awesome. Like this chemical plant is more about experimental batches than mass production. After this is over, can I set up a visit with this lab? Maybe. Why? I see many ways I could use this room to refine our explosives. Uh, of course. Of course, Claymore. In the words of uh, Vinny from Atlantis, makes a very nice boot. I think Vinny is also Indian. I could be wrong. Anyways, hard to hit. Three aggressive en is it three enemies? At least one of them is aggressive. Let's start it up with blue blood. You know what? Let's give shelter some backline time. 